five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, I didn't realize you uh, you guys were here. Uh... First Man, the new movie from director Damien Chazelle, famous for Whiplash and La La Land. This time he's doing a biopic following the journey of Neil Armstrong becoming the first man to walk on the moon. It stars Ryan Gosling as Neil Armstrong, Claire Foy as Janet Armstrong, his wife, and also stars Jason Clark, Cal Chandler and Corey Stoll in kind of supporting cast roles. One important thing to be said about this movie is it's not a story about the Apollo 11 mission, it is the story of Neil Armstrong. Obviously the Apollo 11 mission is a very big part of it, but it is very much the story of Neil Armstrong and kind of like him getting to that point. It focuses quite heavily on sort of his relationship with his wife. What can I say about this movie? Apart from it was absolutely incredible. Damien Chazelle has once again completely outdone himself. I wouldn't be surprised if this is another Oscar win for him. It's definitely gonna get some nominations, but I reckon this could be Damien Chazelle getting another Oscar under his belt. The story is kind of spread out over the space of nearly 10 years. It kind of starts off with what Neil Armstrong was up to before he became part of the Gemini project, obviously leading on to the moon landing, and kind of builds all the way up to that. The film does jump, it kind of focuses on key moments sort of for him personal wise or key moments to do with kind of like, you know, a breakthrough in terms of the missions, but it does jump from sort of like 1960 all the way up to 1969. There are some time jumps in there, but at no point is it jarring at all or anything like that. The jumps feel very natural and kind of the cuts that Chazelle has put in there to, you know, sort of indicate that a year or a couple of years have passed. Uh, it works. It, it is very easy to follow. The only time you ever kind of really get a date come up is when it's something significant. So our two leads, a lot of the film obviously rides on Ryan Gosling's portrayal of Neil Armstrong. He uh, is absolutely incredible. Uh, again, I think he's probably going to get an Oscar nomination for it and I would really hope that he does win an Oscar for it. He's very like subdued and you know doesn't give much away but you know I think a lot of men were like that in the 1960s but there's a very uh, powerful scene sort of quite early on where you know he does have a very strong emotional reaction that uh, it really gets to you straight away and you know there are kind of hints of that throughout the movie and in all honesty I know a lot of people have said that they felt that you know maybe Gosling's performance was a bit too reserved although we don't know because we don't know Neil Armstrong maybe that's just what he was like I thought his performance throughout was absolutely incredible now because Ryan Gosling is quite reserved throughout the film a lot of the stress and sort of anxiety about everything comes from Claire Foy playing Janet Armstrong. Again, she delivers an absolutely fantastic performance. You truly believe that th there's nothing she can do. You know, her husband is going off, he's doing this incredibly dangerous job. She's kind of being left to kind of like raise the kids, um, you know, while he's off doing, you know, he could die. Like most days when he's there doing something, he could die. And the way that Claire Foy sort of portrays the uh, you know kind of emotional turmoil that anyone would go through in that situation is extremely brilliantly well done um, and again it wouldn't surprise me if there was a nomination for Claire Foy. The supporting cast as well all play their roles absolutely incredibly uh, you know special standouts to Jason Clark and also to Corey Stoll who plays Buzz Aldrin. He doesn't have as much time in the movie as you think he's going to have for everything that he <laughs> every line that he does come out with it's kind of more how the other characters react to him. Uh, it does lend to some kind of like little humorous moments throughout the movie, which is really great. Overall, the film is absolutely gorgeous. Kind of throughout, it's got this sort of like grainy aesthetic. Like it feels like it was could have been filmed sort of in the 60s. It's got this kind of like grainy aesthetic to it. It would have been very easy for a film like this to have kind of gone full Hollywood, you know, all the glitz and glamour but it's not, it's very subdued, it feels very raw and it feels very real. All of kind of the space stuff, you know, involving the rockets and stuff like that, it's, it's very cramped and compact. You can tell that a lot of time and effort has been put into crafting this to make it as realistic as possible. And it does look very realistic, you know, there are shots where they're sort of walking up to go in the rocket and the whole thing is shaking and you just think, this is, this is absolutely crazy. Like as, as if they, you know, we actually put people in these things and sent them up to space, like it's just madness. But as I said, it all feels 
feels very raw, it all feels very real, and a lot of the time it feels like you're there when you're sort of cramped up with the astronauts, you know, sort of in the rockets or like up in space and so on. It's um, it's all very claustrophobic, but you you feel like you are you're there, you're in it, you know, you're there with them, and it's absolutely incredible. I generally think it is actually probably my favourite movie of 2018 so far. And this is me sort of putting the nerd down and forgetting about Infinity War. I honestly, First Man is the best movie I have seen this year. Because of that, I am going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. Highly recommend you go see it. Um, I can't comment about seeing it in IMAX. I didn't go see it in IMAX. I've heard that, um, you know, it's kind of mainly the space sequences, which um, don't take up the biggest portion of the film, but are amazing and I imagine would look incredible in IMAX. But uh, overall, incredible movie. I highly recommend that you go see it. That's everything for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have you seen First Man? Let me know down in the comments what you thought of it. Do remember to give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel. We're doing more videos like this in the future. And until next time, take care.